This is Tarek Bedson from TarekMarketing.com and welcome to day 22 of my 90 days video challenge. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use QuickTime Player to do a screen record and at the same time record your face simultaneously. So in order to start the screen recording, what we're going to do is go to file on your QuickTime Player and then go to screen record, new screen record. I'm already recording the screen, that's why I can't click on it right now. And then to record your face simultaneously as well, you go to new movie record. You click on that. Once you click on that, it opens up the new movie screen, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do now is just to reduce it. As you can see, if you leave it like this while you're talking, it lags. So I don't, I don't prefer to record my screen at the same time showing the movie like this. So what I do right now, you just click on record. So let's click record. So now the face recording has started. So what I'll do, I'll put it behind the file that I'm trying to show people. Like uh, I'll put it behind the file that I'm recording. So put it behind QuickTime, um, iMovie right now. So now you can do the recording simultaneously, but I'm gonna show you how to make the recording perfect without it lagging. So you use iMovies to edit it. So basically right now, what I'm doing is recording my screen at the same time, recording my face. So now let's go to iMovie. And I'll show you how I edit it with the previous project that I did. This was the video that I shot yesterday on the day 21 of my 90 days video challenge. So now we go to iMovie, then we go to um, File, a new project. We call this day 22. So in order to edit it, the screen is recording simultaneously as my face right now. As you can see, this is a screen record of the video that I shot yesterday of my day 19 this is it so what you do is highlight it you highlight the video that you want to record once you once you've recorded it you, you it saves in movies in your movie folder then you import it into iMovies then you highlight the screen record at first the screen record you highlight it and drag over there to the project once this is done once this is done you can see the screen record is already pasted here then now you also highlight the the movie record as well your face your face that you recorded because this was recording simultaneously so you highlight the whole thing as well and then you drag into top of the screen record put it on top of the movie so once it shows the plus sign you can drop it so right now I'm gonna drop it here once you drop it take note of this window that popped that pops up so what you want to select right now you want to select picture in picture so once you click that picture in picture it puts the recording in the picture so as you can see it's a picture in picture right now this is the image here of my face record. That's the video added to it. You have something like this and then you copy it and put it anywhere you want to put it. So you can put it somewhere here to start recording. So as you see, as the movie goes on, it's just going to be there. So as you go on, you just be there and then you record. And so that's just basically how to do it. And also to edit it very well for it to be perfect, you have to make sure like you edit the sound so the sound is stacked at the same place so it is stacked together so the sound is congruent so what you're gonna do now once you've edited the sound and it's at the same place you align it together I'm not gonna do that right now you can do that in, on your spare time once you do that then you can mute one of the sound you can either mute the sound of your face record or the sound of the screen record I prefer to mute the sound of the screen record so that you wouldn't have echoes in it. So what you just go to is audio adjustment. And then you mute it. You just take it to zero. But you have to make sure that it is perfectly aligned. That every like the face record is perfectly aligned to the screen record. Once you do that, you're good to go. That's how you just do it. Record a, a screen record and a face record simultaneously and have a little image like this somewhere there. And you can move this image anywhere you want it to be. As you can see, you can move it anywhere. Anywhere in the background you want to move it to. You can increase the size. 
You can leave it like that and then you can move it to any angle. Any angle you want to move it to the. Alright? This is Tariq Betsy from TarikMarketing.com. Hope this video has been very helpful to you and have a lovely evening. Bye.